see you, and I was wondering when you were going to get here. Come on in. Today, what's that smell? Ooh, it smells like berries. Draw a story, like in a comic book. Or, uh, hey, just listen to one. And it all starts with... Then something happened after that, for better or for 
can't do something he can't agree to. He's gonna bitch at you. If he doesn't want you, Paula, don't force him. Just let it wait till tomorrow, Paula. He needs time to rest.
everybody was already here. Hello, Ben. Hello, Jeremiah. Hi, Bullfrog. Hi, on in. I go to the living room. So, Jeremiah Tortoise, how are you, old timer? I'm old. That's who I am. <laughs> okay. Jeremiah. Can you think of a ride and call me? Didn't I just say that? Dad already Jeremiah, said yes. Exactly. How old are you?
Tell Luna all about it. Come on. Ah, uh, there she is. Hello, Luna. Hello, Bear. So tell me, how was your day in the big blue house? Well, Luna, we had such a great day. It was our annual Woodland Valley Story Festival, and everyone came to tell a story. Oh, I wish I could have been there. It was great. Doc Hogg told us the story of his life. <laughs> that must have been quite a long tale. Well, you know Doc. And Tutter told a story about a mouse looking for some cheese. And Pip and Pop read their story from a book. And Ojo Atrilo told a story with pictures. My, how original. Yeah. And you know, Luna, it was so much fun listening to all those stories. It almost made me want to get in there and tell one, too. Why, Bear, you know you just told me a wonderful story. Really? Sure. You tell me a story every time I see you. The story of your day. And I must say, the stories you tell of what happens in the big blue house are the best. Why, thank you, Luna. Say, Luna, before you go, would you sing a goodbye song with me? I would love to, Bear. Tell me a story, I'm all ears. See you soon.